Aloha guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrap and 2. Today I'm going to be doing some coloring and this is going to be coloring only. And I'm using the Make It Crafty's image, Fairy Toe Kiss. This is, uh, this is a digital stamp for Make It Crafty. And I'm also coloring this for the um, Facebook challenge that she has going on this weekend. For celebrating her 4,000 um, likes on Facebook. So I printed this out on Nana Solar White and I'm using my Shinhan Touch um, brush markers and I'm starting with my skin first and I'm using two colors for the skin and I'm using sand and um, let's see baby skin pink. So I'm doing the tip to tip method here um, for the middle color because I don't have um, the middle color between these two. So um, this took me about a little over two hours to color this image. So I'm not going to actually show the entire coloring process. I do stop in the middle um, of me coloring the dress and um, I come back after that and I uh, try to finish the rest but my camera uh, runs out of memory. <laughs> That's how long this video uh, was even though I stopped in between. So here I'm starting with my skin first. Like I said, I always start with my skin because I don't, um, I'm not really careful as to when I color the skin because even if it, um, seeps out as you can see here uh, it's okay because the other colors are going to be darker that's going to be cover it, covering it up. So for the cheeks I'm using flesh and I go back and forth and I kind of um, overdid it on the skin um, by her arms where it's kind of uh, out of the lines but like I said that's okay because the other colors are going to uh, cover that up. So I finished with the skin and then here I'm going to do her hair and I'm making her hair color purple. So because one of the challenges that she had is um, coloring wild hair. So coloring it with uh, colors that you normally won't uh, color the hair with. And I wanted to make hers purple because she's like the fairy and I don't know, I just wanted her hair to be purple. So I'm using three different colors for her hair. So I'm using deep violet and purple gray and um, pale li lilac. So I'm kind of put putting, uh, sorry about the glitching of the camera over there. I'm putting where the darkest is going to be. So I'm putting in my shades first and then I'm going to go with my medium and then um, color the whole thing with my lightest and then I go back with my darkest to add some more um, highlights and then um, finish it up with the middle color. This is normally how I color um, all my hairs for uh, images. And I really had so much fun coloring her. And it's so funny because I'm um, posting this. This should be Saturday. So the challenges are still going on. So you can definitely uh, check out the Facebook site for the Make It Crafty. And I was so preoccupied uh, doing all of these fun colorings that I forgot that today was her wedding anniversary and um, it's our 11th uh, year of wedding anniversary and I forgot to make a card for him <laughs> for my husband that is so I had to um, kind of give him one of the cards that I made but it's not too masculine <laughs> so I thought that was something funny that I wanted to share it's not funny but um, yeah I make cards for everyone else and um, on a special day like this, I forget to make a card for my husband. <laughs> but he's, he's, he's okay with that. He's cool. But um, so yeah, I'm going to finish coloring her hair. 
and then after that I'm going to work on her dress and I'm going to make her dress red and so um, I start coloring it a little bit and then I'll come back once the dress is colored because I think hair and the dress takes me the longest so hair and the clothes I should say and I love the purple hair on her as you can see right there I'm kind of pushing back um, the little bit of the colors that came out of the line with my colorless blender then for her dress I'm making it red like I said and I'm using deep red old red and flesh so again here I'm actually starting with my medium color uh, because of the fact that I have to uh, use the tip to tip method from the this red to the pink because there was a lot of color difference and again I didn't have the middle color in the Shinhan touch I should have um, colored these with my Copics but um, I was coloring this uh, watching TV in my room so again I used the Shinhan touch which I normally use when I'm coloring it uh, in my room because it's just portable but because it's a set of 60 I do have like a dozen more color but um, so you don't have all the colors um, more colors is I have more colors with my Copics so I'm kind of laying down with the red where I want the darkest area to be and then I'm kind of doing the tip to tip and I'm going to color the entire um, dress using the flesh. So these folds over here um, where you see the, I guess you would say maybe the valley area, um, not the... Um, peak I don't know how to describe it that's where you want the darkest to be because that's where the fold is a fold is um, going in so um, that's what took me the longest to work on because I wanted it to have a really um, contrasting color I guess because the old red is really dark red so right now I'm just basically um, putting in where my I want my darkest to be and but kind of preparing it for the dark um, red that's going to um, really highlight the uh, deep areas. And I think the red, I don't know, I always um, color red. I like the red I love the purple and I think that's the most colors that I use a lot and um, red is very dark so when it comes out of the lines when you get out of the lines when you're coloring it's very hard to get rid of it because of the really um, dark color so I try my best not to get it out of the line but it's kind of um, hard it seeps out when you're kind of overworking the colors in where the colors are the paper is so saturated with the color so here you can see that really dark um, old red and I think I'm just gonna I work see I come back and um, the dress is colored and um, I color I color her leggings and then I color her wings but it's going to cut off, uh, like I said. So you can see the full uh, card and the coloring um, probably in the beginning maybe is the uh, how I'm going to do it. I'm not sure. But um, it'll just cut off abruptly. So I'm so sorry about that. This uh, coloring took so long that <laughs> it um, ran out of memory. In my memory is like an hour and um, something I sped this up quite a bit because I don't think you guys want to see me color this for two hours so um, I'm coloring her stockings here yellow so I'm using a uh, yellow lemon yellow and I'm using um, yellow ochre 
as my darkest. So I'm kind of combining a lot of the uh, challenges that she has going on. One is the uh, crazy hair coloring. The other one she has is a clean and simple card and also the one layer card and uh, to make the wings transparent. So um, with this one image, I'm going to basically just cover all of those. I I'll try to make the wings as more as transparent as possible, but I don't know. I don't think it's that transparent because there's nothing nothing behind the wings, so I couldn't really make it transparent. So if it abruptly uh, cuts off, um, thank you so much for watching and um, hopefully next time I can do the full coloring. So again, I'm putting in the shaded areas. I'm not quite sure when it cuts off, so I don't know if I should be talking or not. <laughs> this was a really uh, fun image to color. So beautiful. The image itself is so beautiful that it just makes you want to color it. Okay, so it's going to cut off. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.